Bambi? Hey, yeah, I kind of want to test out this new spear on you, so if you don't mind, my friend, you are a bit more aggressive than the other one for sure. I'm gonna run now. <laughs> I'm gonna run. Your cute demeanor led me to believe that you weren't such an aggressive boy, but you ran. Yeah, all right, we are here today checking out an upcoming little banger by the name of Wander Lost. Now, this is one that I caught wind of a couple of months back, and I've been meaning to check out. And, you know, there's been a couple of delays on my part in some unforeseen situations, but I'm finally here taking a look at it. I'm excited about doing so because I have a lot of high hopes for this one. When I first saw it, I was initially drawn to the art style, which you can kind of see a little bit right here. But other than what you're seeing right now, this is actually a zombie survival crafting game. Open world, etc, etc. But the art style itself is very endearing to me. It kind of reminds me a little bit of um, the game that we covered not too long ago, Green Project. All the hardcore elements of surviving are there, especially here in a zombie apocalypse. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, keep in mind, this is uh, pre-alpha. So very, very early in development, that being said. There's quite a bit to do, and um, the only way you could actually get this right now is through kickstarting, backing it, and whatever. So I have a link for that down below in case you want to go ahead and, you know, do that. I am wet. I mean, how did this man get wet? He just apparently came off of his vehicle after crashing on it, no less. Luckily for us, those things are here. So it does seem we were apparently traveling, fully aware of the zombie apocalypse, because we had a bunch of uh, supplies here behind us. And we got some veggies as well. Let's bring this over to here. I will take that. Very good. Now an interesting... Oh, hello. Zamboni. The first one. As you can see right now, already the art style. Very endearing. Absolutely love it. I, I kind of like zombie games that kind of have like this more cartoony art style. It's one of the things that kind of drew me to Infectinators to begin with. Just like, you know, every now and then it's fine to have not a super realistic, hyper-realistic zombie looking game. Something like this definitely works at the same time. Now, an interesting mechanic over here that took me a while to figure out was um, we had our bottle here, right? So we obviously have to drink because we get thirsty and we die. You know, us as humans, we apparently need water to survive. So if I come over here, let me highlight number two. Who does number two work for? We could fill this bad boy up with water. So I did this and I was like, all right, I'm good to go. And then I was like, how do I drink it? And I kept on pouring it on the ground and on myself, making me wet even more so. What you do is you bring it over here, where it says water, and he will actually hydrate over time. Not too bad, huh? I kind of like the little feature. Took me a while to figure it out, but hey. Let's grab some rocks over here, and uh, you as well. What do you got for me? You got me some plant fibers, which is fine. We'll go ahead and be using that for a lot of crafting over here. Now, when I took this out for a spin not too long ago, I could not save and restore my save file. I think... I guess I can beat this over and over until I get it. Eh, it's gonna tire me out though. Ah, whatever. We're here. I believe they have now added a save feature just very, very recently, as a matter of fact. I think I saw rumblings about it in the um, Steam forum for people who have backed the game. So I will try to set us up here with a save by making the bed and all that jazz. And you guys let me know if you like to see more. Oh, Lord, what is that? Go west. Oh, no, not yet. I don't even know what's over there. I wasn't even aware that was an option. Um, I will try to set up the save and we can not come back to it, let me know. Or, if we can't come back to it, you let me know if you want to see some more and I can come back and do some more. Um, we went through that zombie. You can sometimes find things out with their carcasses and whatnot. An eggplant? Oh! That reminds me of the old Spelunky days. Now, this is going to take a while, so you know we're fine. Let's go ahead over here and start uh, crafting spears, craft wheat cordage with the plant fiber that we picked up. Can I collect you just yet? Yeah, I guess we can. Get a couple of branches over here, which I do believe we actually need for the spear anyway. Okay, let's see about crafting. I was going to see here. We are looking for the weak cordage to begin with. We have enough for that. Make me a weak cordage. Then we can come over here and for the spear, we're looking just for just a wooden spear. We need one more stick. I have leveled up. That makes me a very happy bird. What do we got for levels here? Well, we have strength, dexterity. I guess constitution would that be? And intelligence. Endurance determines health and stamina as well as stamina regeneration time. Stamina always very important to me, so let me put one into that one. I'm always a freaking glass cannon, so forget defense, just go strength and stamina, right? Intelligence, uh, crafting speed and how easily new recipes are learned. 
Let's go with, uh, just stamina. I'm a big stamina boy, what can I say? I like to be able to run for my life as zombies are chasing me. You know, it feels like a good thing to be able to do, you know? Run for a significant amount of time if your life is on the line. I'm just saying. Sure, you can hit things really hard if you want, but um, when you gotta run, well, you better be ready that your lungs are ready to make this trip. Now, wooden spear, let's go. Alright, so now we'll go ahead and stab him in the booty if they decide to get crazy with us. We need a, a stone axe as well. A sharp stone. I believe we should be able to make that one already, right? Yeah, we picked up a couple of stones. As a matter of fact, turn all these small stones into sharp ones. And after that, we're gonna have to also get another weak core dodge, which I feel like we should be able to turn those into that. So you know what? Boom, boom, boom. And what I like is you could just queue that up and walk around and do your thing. That always makes me a happy camper. Zambi? Hey, yeah, I kind of want to test out this new spear on you, so if you don't mind, my friend, you are a bit more aggressive than the other one for sure. I'm gonna run now. <laughs> I'm gonna run. Your cute demeanor led me to believe that you weren't such an aggressive boy, but you ran. Ooh, and you dropped a plank for me as well. Now, one of the things we have to worry about early on is the inventory space. It's one of the things that I struggled with earlier on, so I need to figure out about making myself like a bigger backpack or something. Okay, so I think we should be good now for the stone axe. We can go ahead and fell some trees, that'll make me a lot happier as well. My spear is almost about to go down, so one zombie fight and that was it for it. That's a huge boy, what are you supposed to be? You are ginormous. So let's see about... My piney friend, do you drop sticks, or is it just logs? Because I know we're gonna need pine for a couple of crafts coming up here pretty soon. Yes, we have sticks and we have logs. Very good. And more than likely, we should be able to make a crafting station to turn those logs into even smaller things if we need to, but uh, let's see, stations are over here, workbench. A couple of more sticks and weak core dodge are needed for that. We're gonna definitely want to get that up and running soon, I'm gonna say. Maybe after I know where the bet's gonna go, though. Pickaxe is ready to be built, so let's go ahead and make that happen. Okay. So, I am feeling weary, don't worry. We shall get this bed here soon. Um, as a matter of fact, whatever it tells me to build next, let's go ahead and skip it momentarily, just so I can make this bed. It's 3 p.m., though, I'm not sure if I want to go to sleep right now. Believe me, I understand what it's like to sleep at this time, and suddenly you wake up in the middle of the night feeling active, and, you know, it just ruins your entire sleeping schedule. Welcome to Insomnia 101. That's my life in a nutshell. Help! I'm in a nutshell! How did I get into this nutshell? Pine co bed, yeah. The pine bow is the one that kind of trips me on an occasion. Obviously, we know that the weak core dodge can be made with the plant fibers. Oh, that's right, I forgot that we also have a little mini-map up there as well. We should probably open that up momentarily. Although, once again, my one of my things that I mentioned about is that there's so much on screen that I feel like it limits your, your sight. I become more of a bigger fan these days of, uh, you know, less is more. So I do want to see less on the screen. And this UI is fairly big. Get a couple more sticks here and logs. How you doing, little rabbit boy? I would chase you right now, but I'm already tired. That's a nest I just dropped. What do you drop if I go through you? Feathers and tinder. Yeah, I think we're gonna need that for some fire soon, so... Not a bad pickup right there. Well, zombie, you picked the wrong opportune time to come after me, because right now... I'm a man on a mission. Let's see what happens if we go south. I'm having a hard time. Oh, he just walked right into the water. Oh, that's terrible. I'm having a really hard time finding some pine bows. I'm, supp I'm supposed to be looking for pine trees, obviously. And their little, their little small growing phase. You bring that one, you get your pine bow. I'm not sure if the, the, the big boys have a chance of dropping them. I think it's his logs, but you know what? Let's try it. I mean, it's a pine tree after all, right? You'd imagine it would drop it. It'd be almost like dropping a stick version of it, correct? Nope. Okay, we got Big Mama Zombie after us here. Ooh, you know what's good about the Gojo? It gives you the little bit of a stun, huh? That's actually neat. The spear doesn't give you a stun, but the Gojo does. Um... Good, I, I cannot find freaking pine anywhere. It's driving me nuts. Oh god, there's one right there, finally. You are the guy I'm supposed to be looking for. <gasps> it didn't drop this. Why do you hate me? There it is. Oh, pine bow. <laughs> finally one pine bow. You see, it's... There's gotta be an easy way to get pine bows. I don't have to run through all these different biomes to find one, I'm pretty sure. I'm just a very dumb man, so unfortunately for me, it takes me a while to process information. 
There's gotta be an easy way. Okay, look, it's so dark though. What time is it? Nine. Uh, it's still very early for the Birdman time, but at least for this guy, it's time to get some shut eye. Oh, here we go. Pine boy. Oh, and then it doesn't give you pine boy, even if it's supposed to give you pine boy. So I'm gonna chill right here. This will be Casa de Falcon for a little while. Let's make uh, ba -ba -ba, this bed. And as I said, if indeed the game allows me to actually continue saves now, you let me know, and we could come back and continue this bad boy here. Okay, so uh, bets there. Let me put this in number five. And for now, no roof over ahead. If it rains, well, too bad, huh? Save game and go to sleep, yes. Parch, drink water soon, and I'm also starving. So all that stuff does go down as you're sleeping, so keep that in mind. Uh, let's bring you down over here momentarily. We do have some food in our bag, so that's fine. And right now, we will have some delicious water. Now that's what I call high quality tools. Oh! Um, let's go with home. So right there in our map now, we know that's home, so in case I get lost, and I will, uh, I know, hey, that's where I have my bed to go sleep at. Perfect. Now, short bow, and you know what? This squirrel's got it coming to him! Don't, don't let him run away. There it is. The squirrel has been dealt with. He looked at me funny. I wasn't trusting him. Can harvest with a weapon equipped. Two required. Oh, I'm cold now. Oh, good, good. I, I'm glad that I decided to make my home while you're in the, the Arctic portion of the biomes. I think we need a knife for this guy. Do we have a uh, knife? A uh, stone knife? Requires weak or dodge. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Do you give plant fibers? What do you give? Plant fibers. Ooh, and an eggplant. Let's go ahead and let's not make Let's make sure this little um squirrel died for a good cause here. We can't be wasteful of the things we find. So you put that knife in number five, please. Good. <laughs> oh, my friend. Let's go ahead and uh, tear this little squirrel into bits here. That's what's up. Raw meat, squirrel pelt. All right. Hey, you know what? Maybe if it gets so cold, we can just cover ourselves in squirrel pelts. Did you not see what I did to that squirrel? Do you want to meet the same fate? Don't you swing at me like you know me. Scumbag. Ooh. Ooh, a crowbar! Yo! Now that's a come up. Okay, so let's go ahead and move speed. Yes. Let's actually think about going a bit faster with this one. And sure, a little bit more of that. Okay. Now over here is telling us that it's cold. Yep, I can see that. Requires pine bow. Oh god. Two hours later. Let's eat this eggplant. Alright. You know what, I think we might be a little bit low on water. Let's bring the Zamboni down. I think I might have also picked up Pine Boy. I need to go in my inventory and check. Because who knows at this point what I've picked up. I'm trying to bring everything down and get lucky along the way. Although that crowbar was a good find still. Uh, Birch. No, no, no. It's see, We got Cedar, we got Birch. Do you got Pine? Oh, no, no. Sorry, we can't give you the Pine. You gotta work for that Pine, my friend. Alright, let's fill it up over here. Hunger-wise, we're fine. It's just... Ah, oh, I'm drenched now. Look what you've done, you ding-dong. Go ahead and get your little sippy cup over there and drink your water away. That is neither the... Oh, okay, you were running... <laughs> you were running for your life. I thought that you were coming after me. I was like... I'm not sure if that's typical fox behavior to rush you this way, but hey. Where were you running from, my friend? It seemed like you were, um... Running to the hills from over here. What did you see? Ah, oh, this is not pine area, though. We got a, a new looking zombie over here with a quite an amazing pompadour, I gotta tell you. Oh, okay. He does a weird lunge attack. He's a frog zombie. He's maybe a kappa. He could be a kappa demon. It's a zombie. He is down now, though. Terrifying creature. I thought we were just gonna have deal deal with like regular zombies that just kind of run at you or, you know, with their arms stretched. This guy jumping adds a new fold to the entire equation. Oh. Oh, Pine Bow has been acquired. Oh, thank goodness God. Okay, you know what? This is where I need to make my bed. This seems like to be pine country. It doesn't seem to be cold here. I am weary, sure, but it doesn't seem to be cold here. This could be it. Raw meat. Oh, from the squirrel, right? We gotta cook that bad boy up. Um, okay, so let's see here. Short bow, finally. Do we have room for it? I mean, I have my one number one slot there open, so I guess it'll probably go. Oh, number eight's open as well. That's fine. So short bow's acquired, then we gotta get this fishing pole as well, that's gonna probably be in tools more than likely, right? Simple fishing tool, 
We cordage, thank you. Oh, but you need the workbench to craft it. Now, I think for the workbench, we should be good because I have a ton of logs. And we just need to get some fibers. Okay. We can make this happen. As a matter of fact, we should probably get some fibers from you, right? Yes, sir. And an eggplant, which is a matter of fact. I would chomp on right here. Straight up eggplant muncher. That's what I'm all about. Do you guys give me fibers as well, I wonder? Or is it like, just give me some weird... Oh, fibers, yeah. Good. That's gonna be like some sort of specific, like, you know, flower, which... Used for advanced alchemy or crafting or whatever, which we don't need right now. Um... What about you? Fibers? Yes, a lot of fibers, as a matter of fact. I think enough fibers to make what we need to make happen right now. Yeah, okay, so I've been avoiding all these flowers, and apparently they're not leaves or flowers, they just give you fiber. Which is obviously very important, because everything requires fibers to make this weak cordage. Cue this bad boy up, um, map go away momentarily. Long do you take? Eight seconds? Very good. I like it. I like games that don't make you wait forever, you know, just, you know, we, we, we need to make it, so just let me make it. Don't make me wait an hour. There's no fun in that. Um, I said this is gonna be the new bed, so... Well... Yeah, yeah. Uh, how's it, how much is it gonna take to make this bed again? Just because of the freaking pine ball, of course. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. We'll just make it here. Okay, now let's see. Do I click you? I hit E. You bring up, and uh, I. You just need to have the workbench at least be near it, is what I'm imagining, right? And then you can come over here to like tools, and as long as you're near the workbench, you get done. Perfect. We also need to make a couple of small game arrows, which I imagine it requires stone. We have stone over here, we have a pickaxe, so that should be easily made anyway. I'm curious, I got no bait on this. Do we need bait? No clue. Oh. Yeah! Sardine, you know what? It'll have to do. You may need to cook this first. Oh, come on. Just man up. Chow down in a sardine. Okay, we should have now to enough to make the small game arrows. Perfect. Do we have room for the small game arrows, Falcon? I got absolutely no clue, my friend. I believe we do not, obviously. I also believe we're once again out of water. And... I look. Feathers are gonna have to go away momentarily, okay? You go up here. These arrows do need to be collected. And I also need water soon. Oh, good God. Inventory. Okay, for the time being, we have made the bare essentials. And I am tired. I'm gonna go back to where I left my bed. Get some sleep there. There it is, thankfully. It's cold. I'm drenched. I'm gonna get some sleep here. And if you guys want to see some more, you know what to do. You let me know. We'll definitely come back from here. At least we have now a little nice setup with tools. The basics, then we could probably start building maybe an actual place to sleep in that's, you know, covered. Perhaps with a roof and walls, you know, things that we call homes normally. See about starting to build something like that and go out and explore a bit more now that we have some base. I want to go to the city too, I believe it's also a city map, but now that we got the base, we can definitely start off from here. If you guys enjoyed it, do let me know, otherwise all the info down below, in case you want to pick this up for yourselves. I'll catch you next time.